Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Perk Games, where we cover all the latest in the LEGO video game series created by TT Games. This time we got another video about LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is actually pretty big news, uh, relatively speaking, because we haven't had much news at all lately. So we had the trailer at E3 last year in June, and then we got a bunch of information, and then they waited like six months with no information whatsoever. They just completely went silent, and by they, I mean TT Games and their owner, WB Games. And then in December 20th, the day that the Rise of Skywalker came out, they just dropped a 50 second trailer that morning. And it was pretty cool, it just showed like little CGI, actually it wasn't CGI, it was in-game clips of the cutscenes within the game, like one brief like couple seconds from each of the uh, nine episodes from the game. And then it's been, it's been dead silent, like we didn't get any additional information back in December at all, it was just that 50 second trailer of just little clips from the game and TT Games was silent. And they've pretty much been silent. So yeah, it's been pretty uh, rough here. So now we're in April with still nothing, but I have to say this is a glimmer of hope here because we're getting really close to some news here, like very close. I feel like it's coming sometime here, either in April or possibly May if they really want to wait, but I, th I think something's going to come up this month within the next week or so. So let's go ahead and look here. All right, so if you go to the LEGO website now, the link to this page will be in the description below. So if you want to see this for yourself, you can go ahead and click it. So they actually have a new LEGO set coming out. This is, has nothing to do with the video games as of yet. Uh, this is just a LEGO Star Wars set called the Razor Crest, which is, I believe, the Mandalorian ship from the Mandalorian show on Disney+. Plus. So that show is getting its own LEGO set here, and uh, which is pretty cool. You can get your own Mandalorian LEGO set. I think it comes with like a Baby Yoda LEGO set. So very cool, but uh, it's going to be about $130, and it doesn't come out until September 1st, which is really important, as we'll see here. But... The thing that makes this related to LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is this uh, set has actually been on the internet for a while now. I think I even covered it in a video like a month or two ago. So this set is not news, but uh, they've actually added a new image here, LEGO has. So if you go on the website, you can see this original image that they had on the website of what the box looks like. It's got the set and everything. You can see the characters that it comes with. And I don't know if this is the other side of the box or what, but then LEGO uploaded this new image, which just came out, I guess, today or a few days ago. And uh, you can see, I don't know if this is the back of the box or if this, they just changed the box art. It's kind of weird if they have both the old and the new box art on the website at the same time, but whatever. So if you zoom in here, you can see on the left, right below the Lego logo on the box, you can see Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, find the secret code to unlock this ship. So actually it says play it in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So in other words, I guess if you buy this Lego set for 130 bucks, you'll find a code on it. You can type that in. It's probably going to be, you know, like in the Lego games when you pause it or sometimes they make you go to a certain area within the hub world of the Lego game. You can type in a random code. Or they're not random, they're set. But uh, you can type in a code and it'll unlock different things. Usually the extras, like you can type in a code to give you two times studs, for instance, just to kind of cheat your way through the game. Well, this is probably this is how this is going to work. There's going to be a code like that within the box that you can type in within the game and you get this Mandalorian ship, which uh, this uh, confirms a couple of things. So, for one, this LEGO set is coming out September 1st. So that guarantees that the game is going to be coming out sometime before September. Uh, at least in my opinion, that's what it means. Because why would they sell a set that has a code for the game if the game's not out yet? And, the game, and this set's coming out September 1st? That wouldn't make any sense. So... Uh, you know, unless this whole, uh, you know, health situation going on in the world delays the game, this box art pretty much confirms that the game is coming out before September. At least that's what they have planned right now, uh, you know, disregarding everything that's going on in the world right now. So, that's very interesting there. So, looks like my prediction might have been correct. You know, I've been predicting from the beginning for a while now. I've been saying June, and then more recently I've been saying June 26th is going to be the date. So, I'm still sticking with that. It could come later. So they basically have until sometime in August to release this game, based on this set. So yeah, very exciting. This confirms the release date is sometime before September. Uh, we're going to be getting LEGO Star Wars Discogger Saga, uh, as long as it doesn't get delayed, of course. But uh, this also confirms something else. So I also made a video talking about possible Mandalorian DLC. So a couple months ago, TT Games posted a picture of like the Baby Yoda uh, little minifigure that comes with this LEGO set. And I kind of speculated, you know, and TT Games tweeted about it, even though it had nothing to do with their game. So it seems like possibly there's going to be Mandalorian DLC with this game. And this seems to further confirm that because now we got the, the Razor Crest, the Mandalorian ship, confirmed to be in the game if you buy this LEGO set. Now, you might not have to actually buy this LEGO set because it may be the code is the same, like on every box. So you can literally just look it up online from somebody who has bought it. 
I don't know, maybe it's a different code for each person, but uh, I imagine it's the same code on each box, so you probably won't actually have to buy this set to get it. But very cool, so maybe some Mandalorian DLCs coming. I imagine they're going to do more than just this ship, because they're going to have to do Baby Yoda. Like, he's going to have to be a character with how popular that is and how popular the Mandalorian show is. And this is going to come out around the time. We know Season 2 of The Mandalorian is coming out this fall, so this is coming out September 1st, so Season 2 of The Mandalorian is probably going to be coming out sometime around there. So I'm just going to make a prediction right here. I think the game, I kind of made this in a video another about a month or two ago, but I'm going to make a prediction. I think the game is still coming out June 26th, as my prediction has always been. And I think maybe around the time of this set coming out, that's when we're going to get the first DLC or just a DLC based around the Mandalorian. I don't know. This is all just a theory on my part. Uh, but yeah, very interesting stuff. So the game is for sure coming before September, as long as it doesn't get delayed with this whole virus situation. And uh, we also could possibly see a major Mandalorian DLC coming. And this ship is confirmed in the game too, the Razor Crest, as long as you get this Lego set or get the code off somebody. So yeah, big news here. So I think this is also a sign that the marketing is going to be ramping up here. Because if the game's coming out before September, they have to they have to come out with a trailer at some point, right? And based again, based on previous things, you can check out my other video where I talked about the different trailer release date theories that I have. And uh, yeah, based on previous games, the games that came out in June usually get a trailer in late March and now we're in early April now, so we're definitely in the zone of a trailer coming out at any point now, so stay tuned guys, stay tuned, we're going to get some news, you know, as soon as we get a new trailer I'll have a video out it within the day or two and we'll be breaking it down and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure this next trailer is going to have gameplay and a release date because they can't keep going without gameplay or release date. Like. It's, it'll get ridiculous if they don't give us that. I don't, it's not going to be some 50 second CGI trailer. It's We're going to get something substantial with those tunes. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified right when our newest videos come out. We cover everything TT Games Lego series. So right now everything's obviously Skywalker Saga focused. But if they do anything after that or when they do anything after Skywalker Saga, we'll be covering that. And uh, we've been making mini kit guides for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. If you have trouble with those, these are the best guides on the internet, in my opinion, are the shortest. And uh, they show you exactly what you need. So like the video if you enjoyed it and comment what you think of this news. Are you excited? Uh, let me know and I'll see you guys next time.